So I was going through the comments in my last video and one particular comment, this one, caught my attention. And then it says, so why haven't I talked about the Gislova list of um, a gay gay um, that purportedly has um, Atiko Bubaka and Dino Milaya of the PDP on the list? Why, why this person that was making this comment, um, this Evans guy, I left his name so he sees himself in public, is... Um, may have done that solely for political reasons but it's it's again re-echoed uh, in my heart the reason why we're, where we are as a people we are such a gossiping generation and uh, this is not me going to wave off whatever allegation anybody has but i ask to what particular value is the just lovers um list batch a batch b or batch c so you know that i follow up right beyond being on social media myself i've been a gatekeeper for um political consciousness and information i consume content and i follow virtually um, most nigerian blogs and of course i have to keep myself updated of the society and happenings but then the concentration on gossip in our society has actually become the 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 problem that we are so people would rather go to platforms where gossip um is being talked about you will discover that people will spend more time following gossip trend than actually following very important valuable conversations that are supposed to help the cause of the society so now somebody sits somewhere wherever he is or she is and they put out a list of um people that he says are of course our society doesn't accept such persons and so conversations like that to continue to have its way because people want to continue to demonize or stigmatize people now there are two variables in that regard number one is the fact that you would notice that that particular list has everybody that is well to do there and so there is a narrative that is being peddled, the narrative of you cannot be rich, you cannot be worthy, you cannot be influential, you cannot be successful in your feed without getting involved with certain things. I want to agree that there are so many demonic things happening in our society. But if you allow this particular thing I just said now, that you cannot rise to fame or influence without following a particular pattern, without doing a particular thing, that thing was created to actually kill you permit me because when you begin to dwell <coughs> excuse me live in that particular ideology you are likely not going to push beyond where you um where you want to you are likely going to be the person that is going to be very contented very satisfied early satisfaction in fact because now you have an idea that it's not possible you can't be an ebuka in the mc or hosting world you can't be um uh, an actor you can't have some monies. You can't rise to this. You can't do this. And I see a lot of people. We are just in that. That narrative is being peddled. I do not. I, I do not think that there are no gay gays in society. But if every single time you are seeing this, I like to get to your mind. You will not make move. I've grown here to this point without being asked. Without being asked. Of course, growing up, um, living my life, I've seen a few persons. Who probably had some level of influences and then it was part of the options available but then i chose my path and I'm, I'm 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 making it so right so that particular narrative is what i cannot consume number two the second is that you notice that we are more imagine somebody coming to my page to ask me why am i not talking about it why is it not out because we like to gossip whatever i do here is none of the person's business the person probably have been coming to um, scroll and search and refresh just to see that that is a conversation that is up for you. Gossip! We are such a gossip generation and that's why we are not breaking even and not creating solutions. We will spend the time we are supposed to use to create tangible, practical, simple and tailored solutions to our very um, uh, intermittent problem but we would rather use it to gossip and while away. Why I also, because the fact that I'm on social media there are certain things that uh, affect my own space and ideology. Certain things that happen that I want to also allow people to know. I've got into football conversation here. I've shared a few things about some other persons. I've talked about a few um, artists, talked about a few things in the entertainment industry. But if that becomes the 
No, I'm not saying that people that even do it are bad. But that is not the main stake. That is not the goal of, of, of this platform. There are certain things we can't do here, right? And it's not because these are not newsworthy, but because they do not in any way add directly or impact on the particular solutions that we are seeking for our society. How does that list change anything? I'm even tired of seeing so much of this exposure that ends up in, in just social media. These days, you can't even blame the people that think that government pays some of these influencers, the big, biggest ones, of course, so much, just so that they can continue to manipulate mind. While we have a very serious conversation going on in the country, while the government is relieving five persons of their jobs, seven persons have been added in a government that we are asking that they should cut down the cost of governance. Okay, maybe the majors of the um, commissions or the Ministry of Niger Data is a good one, but are there no things that we should be talking about? Why is this so bothered more about a gossip list of people that are living their own life, which of course doesn't concern me? Why? That's the kind of system that we are in. That is why we are where we are at the moment. We are yet to set our priorities right. Our priorities is, uh, are yet to be set. And until I say people, we set our priorities right. We will never get anything tangible. We are on, online cruising. Once a while, remember that we are hungry. No. We need to consistently remind ourselves that, that there is need for us. And like, like uh, my brother MC Adopikin said, in his own particular cover now or infusion of his own lyrics to Nas Boy's um, Hunger Games. He said, if we really want to see this change, we need to go offline. That's food for thought. Catch up with time.